Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Huck mid-size tailgate pad and seeing how it fits on the back of our 2022 Toyota Tacoma. Now the Kuat Huck is a way to transport your bikes on the tailgate of your Tacoma. It can carry up to five bikes in total. I've been very impressed with the Kuat Huck overall just because it's a really great construction. You've got a ton of padding over the front, the top, and the back of the whole tailgate pad, which wedges the bike in place and a strap on the back will secure it and get a really strong fit. There's a little bit of side to side movement here, but honestly not much. And once you start adding other bikes and kind of layering them on top of each other, it is going to kind of bind everything up a little bit better and keep things more still. So if you're looking at this, trying to debate between maybe a hitch mounted bike rack and a tailgate pad, some of the benefits of a tailgate pad are the fact that you can carry up to five bikes. Most hitch mounted racks top out at four. So you're gonna get better capacity out of it and it's gonna keep all of your bikes upright, which instead of just throwing it in the bed of your truck, it's just gonna keep them in better condition. All the padding here will protect your bikes and your truck tailgate. And you don't have to worry about anything in your hitch sticking out back beyond the back of your vehicle. So we're gonna be saving a lot of space here by keeping it in the truck bed. Even if you did have something like a tonneau cover, there's plenty of space on the side for the side rails where those aren't gonna get interfered with. And if we did have maybe a canister or a roll-up style, there's enough room at the back here, depending on your bike, where I think you could be totally fine and not have to worry about it too much. I'd say trifold covers, you might worry about it a little bit more because that piece is a bit bigger. But for the most part, this area back here is completely usable and unobstructed by your bikes. Now I'll get the bike unloaded here, but just by undoing the buckle and removing the strap that holds it in, that just wraps around the frame and cinches down. And when you fold that buckle over, the teeth bite in and keep it from opening up. And then once that's done, you can just lift your bike up and over the tailgate and set it off to the side. And with the bike removed, we can take a better look at all the padding that's underneath. The padding on top is an inch thick, which is really impressive. It runs the whole length of the tailgate to keep everything protected. And it's going to be made of a really high quality material. All that outer material is going to be a TPU construction, which is very weather resistant. You don't have to worry about rain or anything seeping into it, but it also makes it very easy to clean because if it does get dirty, you can just wipe it down with a wet rag and it'll be looking good as new. This flap here is going to reveal our backup camera and our handle. All you gotta do is roll it up, use the hook and loop strap that's hidden inside to wrap around this buckle up top, cinch it to itself, and it'll hold it open. I think the roll looks a little bit goofy up top, but honestly, it's not too bad. And the cutout here is the perfect size for our handle on our tailgate and our backup camera here. So we retain full function of our truck bed, which is great. I will say that the cutout there does block the backup camera just a little bit on the very bottom, but it's completely usable still. So if you wanna leave this on between rides, you're not going to have to worry about that being completely obstructed. On the back here, we can see all the different points where our bikes can secure. We've got the four bike straps plus the one I just removed and all these different loops to choose from. So we don't have to have these in set intervals. We can space them out however makes sense for our bike. So if we've got bigger ones that need more space, we can give them more space. And one thing I found is that these are long enough. If your bike falls in between two of these and doesn't quite line up with one in particular, these straps are long enough that you could wrap it through two and wrap it around your bike instead of plenty to cinch down and tighten it up. So the fit is very customizable. We can also see the four straps that actually hold this to the tailgate. They're gonna be just a nylon construction, cinched down with these plastic buckles on the inside. And when I fold this up, you'll see the metal G hooks on the outside that keep this really solid on the tailgate. All I'm holding right now is the tailgate pad and we're able to shake the whole truck back and forth without this shifting. There's four of those straps in total and they do a great job at making sure this lays flat across the tailgate, giving you a nice clean look, but also making sure that there's solid contact and that there's no weird gaps. Even though it does make contact with the tailgate, 
there is this very soft felt lining underneath that's going to be non-abrasive and not scratch your paint. So it's gonna keep your truck protected in that way too. And if we wanna leave this closed for a clean look, there's hook and loop to keep it closed and everything is a nice black finish, which is really nice and just stealthy looking. Overall though, the tailgate pad is going to be a really functional way to carry five bikes on your 2022 Toyota Tacoma. And I think Kuat has done a great job making sure it's a solid fit and works with all the different functions that the Tacoma has. Thanks for watching.